What is up, everyone? I'm back today with yet another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. Uh, OU, um, as always, unless I do a uh, multi or something, but um, I have a couple of those saved. Maybe the next one will be a multi for uh, all of you people that enjoy multis. Uh, but this is actually a battle against uh, Jacqueline, also known as Soraki Hero, on uh, my Twitch stream. So, um, like I said, guys, I have been streaming on Twitch. Uh, I plan on streaming uh, tomorrow, Thursday. Um... So definitely keep an eye out, probably somewhere around 4 or 5 uh, Eastern Time PM. Uh, so keep an eye out on that. I have uh, Twitter, it's in the link. My Twitch is also in the link. So um, definitely take a look at both of those uh, and follow me on there if you're definitely uh, wanting to, uh, to to come out and hang out at the stream. I usually, If you want to follow me on Twitter, I usually post 20 to 30 minutes ahead of time before I stream just to give you a heads up. And um, But if you don't have Twitter, don't want to follow me then uh you can follow me on twitch and you'll get an email or a text depending on how you have that set up um but noticing uh jacqueline's team he has a deoxys now most of you are thinking deoxys he's ubers well in this generation uh deoxys s which is this one is deoxys speed form uh is not banned in ou simply because uh it's it's really only big stat is speed, so that's that's really the only reason why. And there are there are so many priority moves uh, that it's not really that big of a problem. But I'm gonna go ahead and lean off with uh, Infernape because uh, he did have the Sableye, and usually Sableyes like to go out first. Um, and I knew that if he wanted to Will O Wisp, uh, he wouldn't be able to do so because Infernape is a Fire type. So I'm gonna go ahead for the U-turn as he hits me with the Torment because he does know that I'm Choice Band because he has been watching my stream for a while. Um, he knows that I'm choice banded, so he's going to go ahead and try and hit me up with the Torment so that I'm forced to switch. Um, but I actually go for the U-turn. I wasn't expecting the Torment, but I, I go for the U-turn and go out into my Politoed here, get the rain up. Uh, and I'm going to go for the nice and powerful stab and rain boosted Hydro Pump, and this definitely would take out that Sableye. Now he does have the Arcanine, and uh, Arcanine does get Wild Charge, so I definitely don't want to stay in here uh, because I want to keep my Politoed around for as long as I can because... Unfortunately, it's the only thing that really has high special defense on my team. Um, so I was predicting the wild charge. I'm going to go out on my Thunderous, who does have the Volt Absorb. So uh, basically a wasted turn for him. He's going to be uh, uh, pretty much forced to switch out because the rain is up and his fire attacks are going to do uh, nothing to... to is it zero to nothing. I don't know. I, I can't remember that saying. But I'm going to go for the Focus Blast. Uh, as he sends out his Milotic. Now, Milotics are usually uh, defensive, not specially defensive, so there should be a problem there. Focus Blast and a Volt Switch are definitely going to take that thing out. Like I said, guys, I'm always turning the lights off for that guy. Uh, all my opponents, I'm just turning the lights out and leaving them in the dark and then running away. Uh, but I'm going to go out and a Crow Spunk here. I do have the Dry Skin, so if I take a little bit of damage, it's not going to be a problem. But he does have the Meowstic, so I definitely do not want to take a uh, Psychic because I am four times weak to that. So I'm going to go out my Thunderous. Uh, usually these things carry uh, Thunder Wave anyway, so um, I figured that he was either going to Psychic or Thunder Wave. Um, and I thought if he wanted the Thunder Wave, uh, he could, you know, heal up my Thunderous a little bit. Um, but I'm actually going to go for the Nasty Plot here. Get my Special Attack uh, uh, up two stages here. And he's going to withdraw on this turn. And I'm going to go ahead and set up another Nasty Plot as he sends out his Caesar here. Now I'm not worried about this Caesar at all. Uh, just because uh, Bullet Punch, not very effective against me. Uh, if he has a Pursuit, it's not going to kill me. And if he has a uh, Superpower, that, well, if he has a Transferred Season when it has Superpower, that's not going to hurt. Um, what else? U-Turn isn't going to do anything either. So I, I, I have nothing to, to fear from this Caesar right now. Unfortunately, I do uh, miss the first Focus Blast here as he goes for the uh, Swords Dance. So now I'm starting to get a little worried. He's trying to copycat me here. And I missed the second Focus Blast as he gets up another Sword Stance. So now we're both at plus four. I'm getting a little worried because even if Bullet Punch isn't super effective or very effective, it's still... Just look at that. I mean, I, I lived with eight HP. And then, lucky me, I finally hit the Focus Blast and Caesar's just gone. He just... Where... I don't even think he was here in existence in the first place. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, I, I do die from the life orb damage there, but it's, it's not even a problem because I have the Crow Spunk, my Toxicroak here, my big bad uh, Toxicroak, who's always somewhat flipping everyone off. She's gonna go, or he, sorry, 
He's gonna go out into his uh, Deoxys speed here, shiny. I'm gonna try and predict something here, but uh, it didn't work out. I went for the Sucker Punch, and instead I end up getting T-waved, so it's not really looking too good for me at this at this moment in time. He's gonna switch out here. Um, I do believe I go for another Sucker Punch, just in case he wanted to go for the Psychic. Um, but of course he switches out, uh, and he's gonna get the Intimidate on me. Um, like I said, as I go for another Sucker Punch, which uh, is unfortunate. I'm going to switch out here. I'm going to go out into Polypube uh, just in case he wanted to go for a fire move. I could get the rain up and uh, pretty much absorb that shit uh, because that's what Polypube does. Uh, well, most of the time. <laughs> he, like I said, he, uh, he he does go for a fire uh, fire move this time. It's the Flare Blitz. Very powerful move. Uh, not, not really that good in the rain and definitely not very good against the water Pokemon. Um, I thought this uh, would either be Scarf or Choice Banded, so I was really worried about that, that Wild Charge, so my poly, my Polytoe was kind of death fodder at this moment. Uh, but I actually live with uh, four... What was that? Was that four? I can't remember. Wait for it. Anyway, I take that thing out with a Scald, uh, as you saw. Rain Boosted Stab Scald is definitely going to kill that thing. So he goes out into his Meowstic here. He's going to set up a, a barrier there. I'm good, just going to go for the Toxic because these things are a pain in the ass. I didn't think their base speed was 104, but they are actually uh, quite fast. And they have Prankster, so uh, they can be quite annoying if you don't have something to deal with them. I actually really wish I had the uh, the Brick Break on my Caesar because that would be uh, very helpful. Um, basically, my, my best option is to just keep going for Scald here. Uh, my, like I said, my Polytoad is Death Fodder at this point, so uh, if I can get... Oh, I was at 14 HP. If I can get a, some damage off, it's better than, than me just dying. So I was able to get the Toxic and uh, the the Scald off on this thing before dying. So it's, it's definitely good to, to to do something if you can with your Death Fodder. Um, but I'm going to go out on my Caesar, and then I'm like, oh wait, he's, put, he's got the Thunder Wave. I don't want to get Parahacks. So I'm going to go out into my uh, Toxic Croak here, who is already paralyzed. So... Uh, base, well, it's kind of like a, a waste of a move, for, waste of a turn for both of us there. And this is where I didn't know its base speed was 104, because uh, I don't, I'm not sure what I went for there. I probably just went for the Drain Punch to uh, to get some HP back and take that thing out. Um, but I didn't know its base speed was that high, so uh, unfortunately, that was just, I mean, that was just me not knowing. It's something that I, I probably should have known and ta uh, taken care of, but. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case, but now I'm gonna go out into a Suicune. I love this thing so much. Suicune is one of my my favorite Pokemon. I just I love the thing so much. It's just it's just really uh, nostalgic for me because uh, when I played Crystal, the original Crystal as a kid, uh, I I had Suicune. It was like my favorite Pokemon. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Skull. This he's gonna go for the Psychic here. Now the first Skull did a lot of damage. Uh, just because it was rain boosted. Now rain boost water type moves by 50% if you didn't know. Um, and here's where you'll, you'll actually notice that. My Scald, you know, isn't going to do squat now. Um, I think I got max damage on the first one. That's why this one kind of looked wimpy. Uh, he's going to go for another Psychic and then I'm just going to kill this thing with a Scald. So uh, Deoxys was definitely a, a threat that I was worried about, but it turned out not being that big of a problem. So. Uh, definitely a good game, uh, Soraki. Definitely, definitely. Um, like I said, guys, we'll be streaming uh, tomorrow. This should be up sometime tonight, most likely. Um, so keep an eye out for that. And I will be streaming Saturday as well. Um, probably for the, anywhere in between. I will start streaming anywhere between uh, 3 and 5. Like I said, just keep an eye out. I know that's a big gap. Uh, but it just kind of depends on uh, when I get some things and I do have work on Saturday morning So I just want to try and get a few things done and make sure that I have enough time to, to get ready and everything like that uh, I do have some new Pokemon. I'm working on getting them trained up for you guys um, because I Here let me let me just show you how many uh, I have all these Pokemon and for whatever reason like I, I can't make uh, Teams other than the ones that I've been using <clears throat> Um, oh shoot, that's my bot. It's on my bottom screen. Um, there we go. I've got all these down here. <laughs> I mean, literally all these to choose from. This one still needs uh, 
leveled up train and so does uh this charmander here but i mean and this one needs leveled up as well but I've, i mean i've got all these pokemon here so uh i am working on a starmie um it doesn't have the right ability but these are all like four to five ivs i'm just trying to get the ivs right um but anyways guys i hope you you did enjoy the uh the battle i hope it uh was worth it for you all um but keep an eye out for stream um, because I, I really, I really do enjoy streaming just because it, it, it's very, uh, viewer, uh, based. Like I, I just get to interact with all of you and I, I really enjoy that because on here, um, you know, it might be a few hours before I'm even, even able to reply because I can't reply to YouTube comments from my phone and my school blocks YouTube. So I can't, I can't get on there at school. So unfortunately I have to wait till I get home before I can even, uh, even reply to you guys. Um, but anyway, guys, anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy hit the, hit the subscribe button. If you enjoy, you know, if you've got some friends that are new to Pokemon or, or, or veterans or, or anything like that, uh, go ahead and share the video. It really helps me out. Uh, just because it, it allows me to, to teach more people and show more people of, of what Pokemon can really be about. But anyways, guys, I'll stop talking. I'll let you go. Uh, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. We'll see you next time. All right. Peace out.